Hi. Now, you may have come across different types of energy in the past, say heat, light, sound, for example. But in mechanics, we also have different types of energy, and one such form of energy is gravitational potential energy, or GPE for short. It's given by this formula here, MGH. Mg being the weight of a particle, and h, the height that a particle moves. You could think of it as work done against gravity. The weight, mg, times the distance it moves, h. Force times distance. Take for instance a ball. Let's suppose it's got a mass m and its weight would be mg. If we were to raise it a height h, we would give it a gain in potential energy of mgh. And if it was to fall to the ground, it would lose gravitational potential energy of mgh. Now you're not only restricted to motion just moving up and down in a vertical sense. You can take an inclined plane for instance. Suppose we had a person carrying their toboggan up this hill. They gain potential energy of mgh. Then if they jump onto their sledge and slide back down again, they lose gravitational potential energy of mgh. Now if the mass is measured in kilograms and the height is measured in meters, then the units for gravitational potential energy are joules. Now let's do a few calculations. Let's suppose that we had this ball here with a mass, say, of 0.12 kilograms. And the height is, say, 2 meters. So when we lift the ball upwards through the height h, we talk of a gain then in gravitational potential energy. And that's going to be equal then to mgh, 0.12 times g, if we take it as 9.8, times the height moved 2. And if you were to work that out in your calculator, you just get 2.352 joules okay and when it falls what happens is we lose gravitational potential energy and we talk about then the loss in gravitational potential energy it's still going to be mgh which is going to be 2.352 joules but what about our person taking their toboggan then up this slope Let's suppose that the mass of that person is 60 kilograms. And let's suppose that this slope has an angle here to the horizontal of 30 degrees. And they carry their toboggan up this slope, which is 50 meters long. How are we going to work out their gain in gravitational potential energy? What well, is mg? times h. But what is h? Well, to find out what h is, we need to resort to doing some basic trigonometry on this triangle. And we know that the sine of 30 degrees compares the opposite side here, h, to the hypotenuse of 50 meters. So if we were to multiply both sides by 50, we'd therefore have that that height was 50 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. So as our person here moves up the hill carrying their toboggan, then their gain in gravitational potential energy is given by mgh being 60 multiplied by g, 9.8, times h, which is 50 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. And that comes out at 14,700. And that will be measured again in joules. 
because this is such a big number you could actually write this in kilojoules thousand joules make a kilojoule so this would be 14.7 kilojoules and when this person jumps on their toboggan again they're going to lose gravitational potential energy and that's going to be exactly the same amount as their gain in gravitational potential energy 14.7 then kilojoules okay well with all that effort of going up the hill let's see this person slide back down again okay well I hope you've gained something from uh, the, looking at this particular tutorial in my next tutorial what we're going to be looking at is another form of mechanical energy it's called kinetic energy